Hi everybody, Tom Sparks here with Sparks Media Group. Today we're going to discuss floor plans. There are several floor plan providers out there and we're going to cover a few of them. Our subject property is one we've been to a lot. I've previously recorded several videos at this property showing how to do various 3D virtual tours as well as how to photograph it. According to public record, this property is 2,053 square feet. We will use that square footage as the target number, although it should be known that public record has been known to be a bit off at times. I started my comparison by taking my Bosch handheld laser measure and measuring each room. I'll put a link in the description to the laser measure that I use. The comparison floor plans I'm going to talk about are not in any order, so we'll start with iGUIDE. I purchased the premium 3D tour processing for $58.47 which got me the floor plan, fixed furniture, and room areas. The total square footage reported was 2,088.62 square feet, which is close but slightly higher than public record of 2,053 square feet. Here you can see the eye guide room measurements in black and the handheld laser measurements in red. They are very close. The second floor plan I'll be comparing is Cubicasa. I use the Cubicasa app on my Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max and this floor plan costs me $30. The process to scan the home is quick and simple. I scan this house in about five minutes or less. You can order a free version without any fixed furniture, but I chose to add on fixed furniture for $15, as well as gross living area or GLA measurements for an additional $15, bringing the total order to $30. The total square footage came out to 2,198 square feet, which is slightly higher than public record of 2,053 square feet. Here you can see the Cubicasa room measurements in black and the handheld laser measurements in red. The third floor plan I'll be comparing is one that was generated by Cubicasa using my Matterport app and captured by my Matterport Pro 3 camera. I specified all that detail because although Cubicasa has their own app, they process floor plans for Matterport. When ordering a floor plan from Cubicasa via Matterport's website, they do not provide ANSI compliant floor plans that show GLA. The cost of this order was $14.99 on Matterport's website, but you have to scan the house first using one of the cameras in Matterport's ecosystem. I'd highly recommend using the Pro 2 or Pro 3 camera. The square footage reported from Cubicasa on this order is 1,960 square feet which is almost 100 square feet less than public record of 2,053 square feet. Here you can see the Cubicasa room measurements in black and the handheld laser measurements in red. The fourth floor plan I'll be comparing is one provided by using the Home 3DS Scan Home app. The process for scanning a home using the Scan Home app is pretty simple and similar to Cubicasa. I scanned this house in approximately 7 minutes or less. The cost of ordering the floor plan using the Home 3DS Scan Home app is $15. If you've already scanned this home with a Matterport camera, you can place an order on Home 3DS's website and provide them with the Matterport URL. If you do that, the cost to order is $5. Note that you can ask them to use a 6-inch wall thickness, but they don't provide any details regarding ANSI compliant or any GLA details. The square footage reported from the Home 3DS Scan Home app on this floor plan was 2,145 square feet, which is almost 100 square foot higher than public record of 2,053 square feet. Here you can see the Home 3DS Scan Home room measurements in black and the handheld laser measurements in red. The fifth floor plan I'll be talking about is one provided by Captured. I provided Captured my Matterport Pro 3 tour URL and they generated this floor plan using that URL. The cost to get this floor plan was $16. The total square footage reported from Captured is 2,084 square feet, which is slightly higher than public record of 2,053 square feet, and very close. Here you can see the Captured room measurements in black and the handheld laser measurements in red. It's worth noting that Captured did not provide room measurements for the laundry room, garage, and downstairs bathroom. The sixth floor plan I'll talk about is one provided by MP2FP. Again, I provided my Matterport Pro 3 Tour URL, and they generated the floor plan using the provided URL. The cost to get this floor plan was $25. The total square footage reported by MP2FP is 2,332 square feet, which is significantly higher than the public record of 2,053 square feet. 
Here you can see the MP2FP room measurements in black and the handheld laser measurements in red. The seventh floor plan I'll talk about is from Bayzini. I provided Bayzini my Matterport Pro 3 Tour URL and they generated the floor plan using that provided URL. The cost to get this floor plan was $25. The total square footage mentioned in it is 1,936 square feet, which is lower than the public record of 2,053 square feet. Here you can see the Bayzini room measurements in black and the handheld laser measurements in red. The last floor plan I'll talk about is one that I generated using the Zillow 3D Home Tour app. This floor plan was free, but I did have to scan the home first using a 360 camera as well as take a test shot of a QR code for measuring purposes. That process was pretty simple and easy to follow. They didn't report on total square footage, but as you can see the Zillow room measurements are in black and the handheld laser measurements are in red. So which of these floor plan providers should you go with? Well, there's a couple things to consider. Your need, your client's needs, and your equipment. Three of these floor plan providers will provide gross living area, or GLA. That is iGUIDE, Cubicasa, and Bayzini. If you like to go with iGUIDE, you'll have to plunk down $2,599 for their camera system, the iGUIDE Plan X Pro. An advantage of using iGUIDE, aside from getting a useful 3D virtual tour, is that they are ANSI Z765-2021 compliant, which is recognized by Fannie Mae. Appraisers are now required to use this ANSI standard to determine GLA and non-GLA areas, which came into effect on April 1st of 2022. Cubicasa does state that they are ANSI Z765-2021 compliant when using their app, and the only equipment required to capture a space is a cell phone or tablet that has LiDAR. Most newer cell phones do have LiDAR, but please do your research on that before you do your first scan. Out of my comparisons, iGUIDE and Captured was the closest to public record. However, Captured did leave out a couple of room measurements, so I think that might push their total square footage over public record. If a client doesn't care about GLA and just wants a nice floor plan, I tend to go with the Home 3DS Scan Home app. You can order a basic black and white floor plan or choose upgrade options like various 3D dollhouse floor plans as well as site maps. They are the least expensive when comparing all of the floor plans that we covered today. Well, I hope this video helped. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it useful, please share it. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thanks for watching.